We're having a great time fishing here at Sun's Lodge on Malcolm Island in British Columbia, and we're fishing for a mixture of fish. Right now we're trolling for salmon. And whether you're fishing the Great Lakes for salmon that have been introduced there, or the native ones on the coast, salmon feed very heavily in open water, whether it's the ocean or the Great Lakes. And one of the best ways to catch them is to use lures that match the food they're feeding on. For example, the spoons that I'm holding up would represent some of the larger bait fish in salt water. It would probably be herring. In fresh water, like the Great Lakes, it would probably be smelt or alewife. So the two spoons that I'm holding up are not casting spoons, like you would cast for pike and walleye in freshwater lakes, but they're fluttering spoons. So if I turn this one on its side, you can see that it's extremely thin. So you wouldn't cast it very far, but you want a thin spoon like the two of these because they would track well when you're trolling at a certain depth. And here in BC right now, we're using downriggers. There are different ways to fish. You can mooch and you can use cut plugs and troll with weights. But because we're fishing deeper water, anywhere from about 45 to about 70, 80 feet deep, and sometimes in water that's pretty deep, as deep as 100 feet, and some of the current breaks and structure breaks, we're using downriggers. So these spoons work really well. Now, as an alternative, a lot of times when you're trying to track fish from a distance, it's very common to use a flasher, and this is one that's custom made here in BC. Um, the flashers attract the fish because a salmon will see a flash and it'll think that it's another salmon that's actually feeding or it might think it's a school of bait fish that's flashing. So when they come over, they're attracted to the flasher and then on a leader, anywhere from a few feet to maybe 10, 15 feet, depending on what the conditions are, there's a, another bait. This particular one is called a hoochie, but in the Great Lakes and also here in BC, some fishermen will troll with flies that are designed for trolling. So these flies are not designed for fly fishing and casting with a fly rod. You actually troll them behind a flasher.